powered by the Montana Television Network. This is Montana This Morning from Montana's News Leader. Well, good morning and thanks for waking up with us today. I'm Justine Stewart. And I'm Lou Storch. Hope you're having a good start to your Wednesday uh, halfway through the work week. Yeah, you're getting there. You're getting closer to the end of the week. I know mm -hmm. we do have some kind of wintry weather yeah. in our forecast as well. So if you're headed out of town over the passes, kind of want to pay attention to the forecast. Today. Yeah, because it is going to be a little bit slippery, especially this morning because we are getting the snow covered roadways in areas. But by the afternoon, we should start to clear it out and dry conditions begin to move back in. And pretty much that's what we're going to see this week. So here's some of the forecast headlines as we're going to bring in. Uh, we had the system move through this morning. That brought us some snow. Then we're going to see high pressure build in for tomorrow. That's going to see a drying trend for this afternoon and tomorrow. Then we're tracking another system, a light system, to move in Thursday night into Friday. Light rain and snow possible there. Then a brief pattern change with colder air and snow possibly moving in back for the weekend. So it's going to be nothing significant. But we do have several chances of seeing light snow showers throughout this week, and we'll continue to get into that as we move throughout the morning here. Here's your Wednesday forecast. Highs, upper 30s, lower uh, 40s, 39 in Missoula, Kalispell, and Hamilton, 40 in Polson. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un says his country a step closer to launching long-range missiles that can reach the United States, and outside analysts agree. The communist nation launched a missile Tuesday, the first in 10 weeks. Hena Doba has the latest. North Korea says it has successfully test-fired its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile yet, achieving its goal of becoming a, quote, rocket power. The launch is the first since this one in September and comes just one week since President Trump declared North Korea a state sponsor of terrorism. Uh, it went higher, frankly, than any previous shot they've taken. It's a research and development effort on their part. The missile was in the air for some 50 minutes, soaring over 2,300 miles into space before splashing down in the Sea of Japan. According to David Wright from the Union of Concerned Scientists, if the missile had been fired at a standard trajectory, it could have traveled 8,100 miles, reaching Washington, D.C. or any part of the U.S. Even though we, nobody wants high-end conflict with Korea, the bottom line, we're charged uh, by our commander in chief to be prepared to fight and win if we have to. Within minutes of the launch, South Korea conducted a drill of its own, firing three missiles into the sea off the east coast. Mr. Trump was briefed on the launch while a missile was in the air. He gave a relatively muted response to reporters after the briefing. I will only tell you that we will take care of it. This was North Korea's 20th launch of a ballistic missile this year. In Adoba, CBS News. President Trump spoke by phone with the Japanese Prime Minister and South Korean President. While the U.S. is considering a response and the U.N. Security Council is due to meet in an emergency session today. It's official, the new Missoula Elementary School will be named after a legendary Montana Congresswoman, Jeanette Rankin. Nearly 40 names were submitted to a special committee and then Missoula school officials narrowed those down to five finalists with surveys sent out to Cold Springs households. And winning the title was Jeanette Rankin Elementary School, but the motivation behind this name all started when two fifth graders realized there wasn't a school in Missoula named after a woman. Russell. Dude. Lewis and Clark, it's two dudes. Lol, dude. Sealy Swan, mountains. <laughs> the school is currently being constructed on Big Fork Road, directly across from Maloney Ranch Park in Missoula. It's going to replace Cold Springs Elementary. Ella and Mary are fifth graders and will not be attending Jeanette Rankin Elementary next year, which is when the school is expected to open. But they did say they did this for future generations. The two fifth graders were at the meeting and were more than happy when that decision was made. So it is unanimous as to all elementary trustees present. Thanks. She is a really amazing leader for all of us and she's an example that no matter who thinks that you are less than them, you are really not. Um, this opportunity allows me to, you know, just try to build up more things that allow us to change this world and to maybe just 
something more equaler. This isn't the only school in western Montana named after the congresswoman. The Kalispell School Board recently voted to name the district's new school being built on Airport Road, also after Jeanette Rankin. While there's a growing amount of grizzlies in the northern Rockies, there's also a growing debate over whether the time has come to remove them from federal protection. And that debate is expected to get the same attention during meetings in Missoula this week. MTN's Dennis Bragg has more. The Interagency Grizzly Bear Committee has been wrestling with the challenge of grizzly bear recovery or bringing the species back from the point of possible extinction for more than 30 years. But now with the numbers of the big bears climbing into the thousands across the region, the scientists and biologists have been working toward the day when the grizzlies are no longer considered a threatened species. A major milestone was passed when the IGBC recommended delisting of the grizzlies in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem several months ago, a point still being challenged in the courts. But now the discussion is turning to the northern continental divide ecosystem system where bear populations have also been soaring. While many federal and state biologists suggest the time may have come for the NCDE bears to also lose their federal protection, some tribal and conservation groups believe it may be too soon. The delisting the bears living in and around Glacier National Park and the Bob Marshall Wilderness could threaten their survival. Those conflicting views will get some attention this week as the NCDE's Ecosystem Subcommittee meets Wednesday in Missoula. While no formal proposals are on the table, this week's meetings could set the stage for a broader discussion by the IGBC's Executive Committee during their annual meeting in Missoula next month. While we're not expecting any specific action, it's clear the debate over the ultimate management for the northern grizzlies is moving forward. In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News. That meeting is scheduled to last most of the day at Missoula's Double Tree Inn. Well, you can keep your 406 gear. The state won't have to add an area code until at least 2031. There were some concerns Montana would run out of available 406 numbers in two years. But the State Public Service Commission required telephone providers to make more of those unused numbers available. PSC Chairman Brad Johnson said the 406 is part of our state's identity. We take a lot of pride in uh, being known as Big Sky Country, and we take a lot of pride in the fact that an awful lot of folks around the country know that if, if you're talking 406, you're talking Montana. Johnson said the PSC will keep looking for other ways to extend the 406 area code over the coming years. If you get pulled over while riding your bike without lights on, you might get more than a traffic citation. MTN's Augusta McDonald has more on an annual city police campaign to promote bike safety at night. Montana law says you need a light on the front and back of your bike. If you break that law in Missoula, you might get more than just a ticket. We have a lot of wrecks with bikes um, at night and almost always it's a vision issue. You know that people can't see the bicyclists. Police officers on patrol now have 150 light sets to hand out as they see people biking without quality lights at night. So you can hook them around basically any part of the bicycle that you want to. Obviously, white one goes on the front, probably around the handlebars, and the back one probably on the seat post or someplace else on the back of the bicycle. Missoula Mayor John Engen started the campaign in 2006 after a young person was killed while riding their bike at night at the intersection of Beckwith and Higgins Avenues. The city of Missoula wants to remind cyclists to be safe and be seen. Reporting in Missoula, I'm Augusta McDonald for MTN News. Keep in mind these lights will only be given out by police officers on shift. You cannot stop by City Hall or the police department to pick them up. All right, let's head on over to Lewis now this morning for your weather on the 8th. No, I thank you, Justine. Good morning, everyone. I want to start off with this nice picture sent into us by Shiloh yesterday. Shiloh, thank you for this. Nice picture of the moon yesterday evening. Great picture right here. Shiloh, thank you so much. Got a lot of nice ones sent in to us and continue to look at those as we move throughout the morning. Now, we are still seeing some snow in areas this morning. Cool temperatures as well. So as we're waking up, we're at 34 in Missoula, 37 Polson, 35 Kalispell and Thompson Falls, 34 waking up this morning in St. Regis, 30 in Phillipsburg. We're looking at 31 degrees in Sula. So here is a look at that radar. It's actually starting to fill in a little bit now down as you head south, getting some light snow falling around Hamilton. Looks like we get some light snow falling here around Missoula here soon as it's starting to build in again, though. Notice how it's really falling on the mountains here. So those passes we are traveling this morning. We're getting reports of some snow covered roadways and slick roadways as well. And then as you head east now, we're getting snow falling around here with have an update on home state pass for you in just a minute. And then Sealy Lake still getting some moderate bands of snow 
down around there. Again, expect this sort of activity during the morning, then slowly clearing by late morning and afternoon. But here is your travel watch. So lookout pass, snow and ice change required on I-90 there. Lolo Pass, Lost Trail Pass, we're getting snow, covered roads, and scattered snow and ice. And then Rogers Pass, so as you head over towards the divide, we're starting to see the snow pick up there. Snow and ice being reported there. And then Home State Pass over towards Butte, snow, ice change required if you are towing a vehicle. So a little bit slippery as we were heading out there this morning. Here's your hour by hour forecast for Kalispell. Backdrop picture courtesy of Wally Rye from Columbia be a falls yesterday. Wally, thank you so much for this great photo. Notice for Kalispell, just about a 30% chance of some light snow this morning. We're going to clear it out, partly cloudy to partly sunny by the afternoon with highs again, upper 30s and lower 40s. And then a great picture sent in by Megan Adkins is going to be our backdrop for the Missoula hour by hour forecast. Megan, thank you so much for this. Notice around 8 a.m. about a 40% chance of some light snow. Then again, slow clearing as we move into the afternoon with highs in the upper 30s. Here's your seven day forecast for Missoula 39 today. We'll clear it out on Thursday and then we're going to bring another chance of rain and snow by the weekend with highs upper 30s and lower 40s. Same thing for Kalispell 39 today, 40 tomorrow. We'll see 41 Friday and Saturday, 38 by Sunday and then Hamilton 39 today, 40s Thursday, Friday, Saturday, dropping to the 30s as we go into next week. All right, getting a little more like winter. We do need to start getting some snow on the ground for I know. Christmas. I know. We so. need to start building that up because we had a good start to we it. Did. End of October, November. It's kind of warmed up a little bit. Let's start to build that snow up because we need a white Christmas, we right? We do. It's always nice. After that, we can get rid of it, but let's get snow for Christmas. <laughs> All right. Well, stick around because we'll be right back after this. But first, here's some birthday shout outs for you this morning.